Okay, so I want to talk about a problem I see with interpreting the scriptures. And what I see is, is we tend to read ourselves into the scriptures, and that's a problem. We need to stop reading ourselves into the scriptures. We need to stop making it about us. And so let me just give you an example. I want to read you a verse from Matthew chapter 9, verse 36. When he, Jesus, saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Now let me just stop right there. And so we have the harassed and helpless focus here on the people that Jesus is talking about. And we can look at this like what it means is we're having trouble with life circumstances or problems at our job or struggling with our marriage or, or maybe it's some type of ailment. Maybe there's cancer in the family or, or somebody just died or something like that. And is this really what it means when Jesus sees the people as being harassed and helpless? Or is there some further meaning? And it's not to minimize those things that our Lord is concerned about those issues, but it's beyond that in this text. And I think we can miss the higher meaning because we're so focused in on ourselves. And so the meaning of being harassed and helpless, these sheep without a shepherd that Jesus sees and has compassion on, it's the law that harasses us, the law of God that's against us, that we can't keep. We are helpless to keep God's law, the Ten Commandments. This is the higher meaning of the text, the higher meaning of the text. And Jesus came to fulfill that law in our place. This is the compassion that he has for us. We are idolaters at heart. That's why we're so focused in on ourselves. We break the first commandment constantly. You shall have no other gods before me. We are always putting something else before before God and we break the rest of the commandments we are harassed by the law we are helpless to keep God's law and that's the compassion that Christ has had on us he has come to keep the law in our place and then by his death on the cross and resurrection on the third day he now gives us his righteousness and he covers our sins he forgives us and he gives us eternal life this is the compassion that Christ has for harassed and helpless sheep like you and me